evaluate the following, give your answer as a whole number, fraction, or a mixed number. So the first question is 16 over 25 to the power negative one half. So here you've got a negative one half. I'm thinking, can I write this 16 and 25 as a square? Okay, so I know 16 is four squared and 25 is five squared. So I'm going to write this as four squared over phi squared to the power negative one half. So applying the rule of indices, you've got power of power, you have to multiply the powers. So this is nothing but four raised to two times negative one half. And you do the same thing to the denominator. So that is phi squared times negative one half times negative one half. 1 over 2. So this is nothing but 4 raised to 4 times negative 1 half is negative 1 and 5 times 2 to sorry 5 raised to 2 times negative 1 half is also negative 1. So you've got negative 1 in the numerator and the denominator or the power of negative 1. So this becomes when you have a negative power it changes the place so you can understand that negative power as a gear okay so if it changes the power it has to change the place so this comes down of 4 to the power negative 1 comes to the denominator and becomes positive and this goes up and becomes positive so this is nothing but 5 over 4 and this if you want to write as a mixed number this is 5 quarters which is 1 and 1 quarter so this is your final answer or uh, as a decimal, this is 1.25. So how can we do this on a calculator? This is menu. Uh, oops. Uh, calculator. I'll slightly move this. Um, okay. Hopefully I can work. So menu. Run. Oh, my calculator is not yet working. So I go 16, 16 divided by 25 raised to, uh, I'll put this in the bracket, negative 1 divided by 2. The calculator will give you a decimal number, 1.25. If you can change this, this is 5 quarters. And 5 quarters is 1 and 1 quarter. Okay, the next question is 125 over 64 to the power let me use a different color so this is can i write 125 as a cube so i know you should be knowing uh, 125 if you know this fact this is really helpful so 125 is 5 to the power 3 of 5 cube and 64 is 4 cube now you may wonder why i'm writing as a cube I hope you can see we got four thirds. Okay, so this three will do something to this cube. So I'm going to write the next step like this. So this is five cube over four cube raised to negative four thirds. So power of power you multiply. So this is five raised to three times negative four thirds over. 4 raised to 3 times negative 4 thirds. Negative 4 thirds. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled, and this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So what remains is 5 raised to 5 raised to negative 4 over 4 raised to negative 4. So the same thing happens, this comes down and this goes up. So this is 4 to the power of 4 over 5 to the power of 4. So 4 to the power of 4 is 64 times. So this is 4 cubed times 4 times 4 over 5 cubed times 5. Okay, now this is 64. 4 cube is 64, this is 64 times 4 over 125 times 5. 
So 64 times 4 is 256. So this is nothing but 256 over this is 625. So this is your uh, final answer. Six, this is a improper, this is a proper fraction. So let us use, check this on the calculator. So delete, so I go 125 divided by 64, raised to bracket minus four divided by three, equal. And this if you want to change as a fraction, 256 over 625. Okay, let me do one more question. 125 raised to, this is the easiest of them. So 125 we just saw, 125 we can write as a cube, which is 5 cube. So this is nothing but 5 cube raised to 2 thirds. So you have to multiply power of power, which is 5 raised to 3 times 2 thirds. So three, 2 times three times two thirds, so this thirds gets canceled, which is five squared, which is five times five, which is 25. So the answer is 25. So again, always check it on a calculator. So this is 125 raised to bracket two divided by three. You can use also the ABC key, which is 25.